everyone welcome back to the channel it's a new day a new adventure today um, we had a fantastic night here sleeping in the hotel in Koryama which is the routine hotel uh, we had a bit of a leisurely uh, relaxed uh, night last night uh, just with some food in the room uh, woke up this morning and uh, obviously we attacked uh, the breakfast buffet complete madness it was like a war zone in there but we, uh, we were able to get uh, a decent uh, uh, breakfast this morning so the plan for today is going to load up the motorbike um, and then we're going to head out up north again uh, first to a temple i'm not even going to try and pronounce the name of the temple but we're going to a temple and after that we're going to a shrine as well one thing i just wanted to share though is these bags that i have are the moscow moto bags and i, I just absolutely love them because they're a really easy click system to get onto the back of the motorbike uh, we've dedicated one side to my wife for her stuff and one side for my stuff um, and I've overpacked them a little bit today because I wanted to change the weight from the back of the motorbike on top behind my wife a little bit more lower maybe it's easier for in the corners and so forth I had no issues yesterday but I'm just trying to experiment to see if that's any better so as you can see here this is the Moscow motor bag this is I think it's the uh I think it's the 25 liter or the 30 liter, I can't remember. And it has the click system at the back here. And then you can see on the motorbike here, on uh, the side, we have then the, the fixture mounted. Uh, so what you just do is you just slide it in, slide it in. That's it, that's all it takes. Um, and then on this side as well, on the other side, we have equally the uh, same one. That's it. Uh, these motorbike bags are phenomenal. I've used them already about two or three times and I have no regrets buying them at all. You can obviously get the larger ones, which are the fuller uh, cases, the hard panniers. I don't really um, want those because uh, it doesn't allow me, well, it stops me and um, limits me on the lane splitting I can do in motorways. So I wanted to share that with you. I know there's a petrol station uh, next door, so we're going to fill up on gas and then we're going to head out. So come along on this journey as well, guys, and uh, thanks for tuning into this one. beautiful day today on our way to the temple as I mentioned this morning and my wife said to me she said um Arch, why don't we make a little detour while we're headed up into the direction of Sendai and um, why don't we go to Matsushima I think I'm pronouncing it correctly there's lovely little islands there um, so why don't we go check that out great thing is just being the two of us we can make changes to our plans um, alternate our route um, so I'm all for that. So we just stopped here, uh, punched in the new address and deviate away from our initial plans and first go out a little bit to the seaside. Fabulous weather. Um, it's beautiful to be out on the motorbike. We're both enjoying viewing the, the mountainside as we come past it. So yeah, I'm very interested in this as well. So a little change of plan at the moment, which is always great. New adventure. Keep you updated as we go along. Right, so we're making our way out to Matsushima, uh, to the seaside, and uh, we've come across this uh, lovely um, B road here. Um, it's got those fences in the middle, which I have seen in the Sendai uh, area. But it's a lovely, it's a lovely ride. Nice, uh, nice ride. And uh, I can already feel the, the temperature cooling down, so. We're guessing that uh, we're closer to the seaside, maybe. It's a lot, it's definitely a lot cooler here, which is nice. Very, very pleasant.
so we're headed back on the uh, expressway leaving much Matsushima um, far too congested as I've mentioned um, it's a golden week period now at the moment you must have seen a million people there so we're now headed on to the temple that we initially planned to go to this morning and um, about a hundred kilometers from uh, where we just got back on the motorway so it's not too far brings today's ride to the temple around about 260 kilometers as you can see we've arrived here at Chu Sonji temple it's about an 800 meter climb up the hill, so we're going to head up the hill. For some reason, um, we always have to go up the hill. Crikey! place is so impressive just walking around the gardens and noticing the temples and the way they've been set up in the bush well in the forest not really in the bush absolutely amazing soba uh, they give you uh, 12 of these little bowls per person so 24 bowls between the two of us little portions they are and normally a lady would sit next to you and she would just keep on filling them up oh my god it was good fabulous now headed to the motorbike we're gonna head to the hotel Compared to that, we're packed rather lightly. And we are in Morioka. The 
arrived in the town where we're sleeping tonight and now we're just going to go find the hotel. 2.6 kilometers down that way and then make a U-turn. So it must be on that side of the road. And there it is down there. I can see it. Yeah. So I just need to find if there's a convenience store next to it or something like that. Let's have a look. 